Hey there guys, this is Karthik. In this video, I'll be discussing a quick editorial to the problem D A B graph from Code Forces around 699. Uh, before I start, I would like to say that you should read the problem on your own and subscribe to the channel. And then I'll get started with the solution to the problem. So the problem says that you're given with a graph. The graph is a complete directed graph, which means that if there are two nodes in the graph, node U and node V, then there will always be a directed edge from node U to V and a directed edge from V to U. Also, the special thing is that each of the edge has a label and the label is either small a or small b. That is what the problem uh, description is. And it is asking you that given our path length equal to m, is there a path in the graph such that when you tra trace that path in the graph, the labels together form a palindrome. That's what you need to find out. So let's move to the solution without wasting any time. Okay, so I consider a graph of size 2 u v so we have two nodes in this graph and i'm going to consider this particular graph since uh, there is a directed edge from u to v and v to u because it's a complete graph now u to v i can have a label a and let's for example say that v to u is also a so now no matter whatever is the path length you can always have a path in this graph that will be a palindrome so for example, if path length equal to 1, you can have a path of path from u to v that would be a and a is a palindrome. If you want a palindrome of length 2, you can go from u to v back to v back from v to u and you would have a a that is also a palindrome. And if you want 3 length, then you can go from u to v, v to u and back to v. That would be a a a a and that is also a palindrome. So if you have any two nodes in a graph of size n such that there are two nodes in that particular graph on which the labels are either AA or BB. Basically any graph U in which there are two nodes U and V so that there's a directed edge from U to V and V to U and the labels of these two edges are same. In that case, you can just keep looping in these two nodes U and V and you will always have your answer as yes. So one thing is solved. Whenever you see a graph where, where you have these type of two nodes UV AA or UV BB problem is solved but let's say your graph does not have these type of nodes then what then your graph will have these type of two nodes right you will have a, a directed edge from u to v that is labeled a and a directed edge from v to u that is labeled b in this case <clears throat> odd length is always possible in the previous case odd and even length both were possible in this case odd length is always possible so that means that odd length will always be possible no matter what and how is odd length possible? So if you want a path of length 1, you can just go from u to v and you will have the path a that is a palindrome. If you want a path length 3, you can go from u to v that is a back to u and back to v that would be a b a. a b a is a palindrome. You want path length 5, you can have a b a a b a. So odd length is always always possible. So if you are given a path length odd, you can just take two nodes and keep looping through them. You are good to go. But what happens if you are given a path length of even? So I will consider two cases. So you have even path length and obviously no two nodes exist so that the edge label from u to v and v to u is the same. No two such node, nodes exist. I want to find out is it possible to have a two length path that is a palindrome. Is it possible? So a two length path would be possible if and only if you go to some node u using an edge and then you leave node u using an edge and these two edges must must have the same label right in that case a two length path is always possible so let's think about this node u okay and if a two length pass is not possible then that would mean that all the incoming edges to node u and all the outgoing edges from u have different labels right so if you have an incoming edge labeled A, then the outgoing edges, all the edges have to be B because otherwise they would have been a two-length palindrome. So let, let's first consider that a two-length palindrome is not possible. And then I would prove that if a two-length palindrome is not possible, then an even length palindrome is impossible to have. So you have an A here. This would mean that the, all the opposite edges need to be B. Because otherwise, if even one exit edge from U is A, then you can have a two-length palindrome, right? And all the entry edges of U have to be an A. Because if there is even one edge that is a B, 
then you can have go go to u using a b and leave u using a b so that means all the nodes of the graph if if a two length palindrome is not possible <clears throat> in that case all the nodes of the graph would have entry edges as label a and exit edges as label label b or the opposite entry edges as label b and exit edges as label a so these all will be a and the exit ones will all be b <clears throat> so since all the nodes follow this particular property no matter how, what path you go for it's always going to be a b a b a why is that so because if you go from u to some other node v you followed a edge b right and by definition a two length palindrome is not possible so no exit edge from v would be labeled b again it would be an a so no matter what path you follow you will always be following a b a b a b a b a b when a two length palindrome is not possible and that means that if a two length palindrome is not possible no even length palindrome is ever possible to have all right so we are good with that but what about even uh, palindromes when a two length uh, palindrome is possible so let's discuss the final case when a two length palindrome does exist and obviously no two u v exists so that u to v and v to u have the same label otherwise the problem was already solved so let's just discuss the final case and we'll be done so we said that okay two length palindrome does exist so let's consider three nodes u v x and you can go from u to v using a path uh, using a, a directed edge a you can go from v to x using a directed edge a now since you went from u to v using a and v to u cannot be the same so this will be b because if, if it was the same my problem was already solved i don't even need to think ahead similarly from x to v also the path would be similar right it would be a b because otherwise a a and my problem is solved what about ux and xv since it's a complete graph there are going to be edges these way also so thinking about the edge from u to x it can either be an a or a b let me consider it to be a b for now and let me consider this to be an a if these two are same then again the problem is directly solved or let's uh, let me wait let me consider this to be a and this to be b so in this particular case if you go like this a a b no wait sorry let me consider the previous case only so for this particular case you can see that any palindrome is possible because you have a cycle of three a's a a back a and then you can just keep going from u v x u v x u v x and you will have a palindrome like a a a a a a a so this case is straightforward now we will discuss the harder case and with this one is a and this one is b now i will prove that it is always possible to form any even length palindrome when a two length palind even palindrome is possible when a two length palindrome is possible any even length palindrome is possible and how is that we'll find out so you can see that aa is possible and what about a four length palindrome is a four length palindrome possible yes it is possible how you can go like this a go from u to x following this edge a then go from x to v and v to u following bb and then finally you can go back to x and you'll have a b b a so four length palindrome is possible what about a six length palindrome it's possible how is that so you can go from u to v and v to u that would be a b and then you can follow a a reach x and then do b a so you can see that six length is also possible what about eight length so eight length can be formed something like this a b b a you keep this here and then you go from u to v and back from v to u that would be a b right and then you follow this a b b a and here you do the opposite of what you did from u and v you do b a b a right so if you think about it you do something uh, with the nodes u v you form a two length palindrome and uh, you form two you basically go from u to v and back from v to u and then you form the same four length palindrome that you formed earlier you reach x and at x you make b and a and it's a palindrome so this way you can form an eight length palindrome similarly you could gone from uh, you could have done u v u v and then that would have been a b a b follow the same four length palindrome and then at x do the opposite and make b a b a b a so that would be how much four you can add two here two more and two more so that would be 
8 plus 4 that's 12 so you can see that from 4 you can make 8 from 8 you can make 12 from 12 you can go ahead and make 14 16 oh sorry 8 you can make 12 yeah and from 12 you can make 16 because every time you can add 2 here and 2 there so 16 from 16 you can again add 2 to the left and 2 to the right and the 4 part remains in the middle so you can have 20 and you can see these are possible 4 8 12 16 20 just by making that 4 and adding 2 here and 2 here and you can just keep adding 2 to both the sides so every time you add 4 so 4 8 12 16 20 are all possible just by doing this thing uv 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 then form the 4 length one and then xv 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 right so 4 8 12 16 20 all are possible what about uh, 6 10 uh, 14 18 these are the remaining even numbers right we need to think about these we saw that 6 is possible very easily how how did we make 6 we said okay ab then aa and ba similarly if you do it twice ab ab you go like this ab ab form the two length palindrome and then do the reverse over there you go aa and then you can have four of the opposite ones here so you can have ba 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 right so overall uh, whenever you want to form a number like 6 10 14 and 18 you your building block would be this middle aa and then you can to the left have ab as many times as you want and to the right you can have ba as many times as you want and when you want something like a 4 8 12 16 20 type of number in that case the building block would be a b b a the four middle part and to the left you can have as many ab's and to the right you can have as uh, that many ba's hopefully this helped you to understand the problem if you have any doubts make sure that you ask me in the comments but i hope that i explained it well anyway so this was the problem solution Make sure that you like, share and subscribe.